A warm up is back on the way and the wind is also going to be picking up 19 first alert. Chief Meteorologist Jason Nicholas joins us now and seeing those long lines outside yeah. the Board of Election. If there's some more long lines on Election Day, it's not going to be too bad because it'll be beautiful outside. Yeah, now that early voting is done right now, we're all talking about Election Day. So that's really what the team is going to focus on here because we were thinking at least last week we might have a little bit of rain. So let's take a look, show you what's going on from above over to the big wall. Not a bad weather day today. Temperatures in the 60s, plenty of sunshine overall. I uh, can't really complain about an early November day like today with all the sun. A few high clouds here and there, but overall it was very nice. Now this nice weather is actually going to continue even as we head into tomorrow and election day. But let's really get specific here and focus on election day. First and foremost, the big picture here, unseasonably warm temperatures. This is Tuesday. It'll be windy with showers overnight, mainly overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday. We've delayed that rain just a bit. Low to mid 60s in the morning, mid to upper 70s in the afternoon. Southwest winds 15 to 25. We could have those gusts up to 40 miles per hour. And right now the thinking is the rain will hold off until after the polls close at 730. Now the exception could be across far western sections of Ohio, perhaps even making their way into Erie and Huron counties as well. But the majority of us on Tuesday look to be just warm, windy and dry. So take a look here at first alert future view. There's your warm start. Temperatures in the 60s. Look at this. I mean, if folks are going to have to be waiting outside, <laughs> Mid 70s with plenty of sun is pretty good stuff. And look at this. This is 6 p.m. Tuesday night. Again, we are still looking dry. In fact, we're even dry by around 8 p.m. But you can see the rain starting to move in. Now, different forecast models have kind of moved this rain in a little bit closer. That's why we're at least mentioning it. So let's take a look at that election day forecast here, hour by hour, starting off in the morning. Temperatures in the 60s, lunchtime we're in the 70s, and then when the polls close, mid 60s. And again, I've thrown that shower chance in mainly across the West. So there it is. Overall, very warm for election day. Tuesday. We'll talk about the cooler air behind this system. All that here, Caitlin, coming up.